Hello and welcome to Isin Clay. Today we will be looking at the downfall of Armorica, a region of indigenous Celtic tribes in what is now Brittany, France. The region originally gained its name from the Celtic words Ar and Mor, which mean on and sea respectively, making the land translate to on the sea or by the seaside. In 325 BCE, the Greek explorer Pythias of Massalia undertook a voyage to chart the coasts of northwestern Europe. In so doing, he became the first to document the Celtic and Germanic tribes inhabiting these coasts. One of the tribes he mentioned was the Ostinio, who were likely to have been the Osismi tribe that inhabited Brittany in the century before 0 CE. At that time, the region was home to several other Celtic tribes, including the powerful Weniti. By the time of Julius Caesar, the tribes of Armorica controlled all trade across the Channel to Britain. In 58 BCE, Julius Caesar began his conquest of Gaul, a land that made up most of France, Belgium, Switzerland, and the parts of Germany west of the Rhine. Fearing conquest, the Belgae tribes, in what is now northern France and Belgium, formed a military alliance in 57 BCE. They assembled an army, but Julius Caesar attacked sooner than they expected, and after a year of fighting, the tribes were defeated and surrendered to Rome. Towards the end of the campaign, Caesar sent the remains of the 7th legion, under the command of Publius Crassus, to Amorica. There, Crassus was successful in signing treaties with multiple tribes, and when winter arrived, Crassus had the 7th legion camped down among a tribe known as the Andicaui. During the winter, food supplies ran low, and Crassus sent out scavenging parties into the territories of the Asubi, the Caurio Swellites, and the Weniti. Insulted by the intrusion into their lands and the theft of their produce, all Roman commissariat officers were seized by the Amorican tribes. When Caesar returned to Gaul from his winter retreat, he attacked the alliance of Amorican tribes which had coalesced in his absence. The campaign was lengthy as the Amorcans were able to use the sea to evacuate their strongholds and so deprive Caesar of the standing battle he wanted but Caesar was able to build a fleet of galleys on the Loire River, and by late summer he cornered and defeated a Winetic fleet of over 200 ships in Kyberon Bay. No longer able to flee to the sea every time they were approached by a Roman army, the Armorican strongholds were captured, and the region quickly surrendered to Caesar. Following the region's conquest, the Weniti elders were executed and the rest enslaved. However, groups may have fled to Britain and Ireland where they formed two separate tribes, the Wenicones in what is now Scotland and the Wenisi in the north of Ireland. Both of these tribes are mentioned by the mathematician Ptolemy around 140 CE. Most likely these enclaves were formed from families with access to boats that fled across the channel during the night. Still more Weniti could have escaped the Roman onslaught by fleeing to the highland forest of Armorica. As part of the Roman Empire, the region became part of the province of Gallia Lugdunensis. Anyway, that's it for this video. Citations and links to the sources used can be found both in the credits and in the description. If you would like to know more about the subjects covered in this video, those are good places to start. As with all YouTube videos, please feel free to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.